where are you originally from? Where are you originally from? Uh, from Kentucky, my hometown. Kentucky. Okay. And, and, my, and I'm stationed in Maine. So How long have you been here? 14 years. 14 years. Now, what kind of uh, action is this you've got? It's M16 rifle. It's for watch standing. M16. That's right. So we took our time, right? We were, we were moving very fast. We go to anchor, but you got to go through all the locks too. Oh, so that okay, takes, yeah. you know, like a couple days to get through all of them. So. You guys want to come around here? Okay, guys, welcome aboard HMCS Summerside. Our ship is uh, built for minesweeping. We are maritime coastal defense vessels. We have six of these ships on each coast. So six in Halifax, Nova Scotia. That's where we originally came from in June. And then we have another six in Victoria, British Columbia. Right now you're standing above the motor room, which is right underneath of us. That's, that's the room that powers our propellers. So because we are minesweepers, we, we're built for maneuverability. Our propellers can spin 360 degrees, which make an, makes us very maneuverable if, if we were, were to approach a minefield. We have two bo boats on board. We have our rib here, which is primarily used for man overboards and other exercises like that. And we have another another boat up there, which is actually over alongside us right now. So we had to put the boom out for fueling. This right here, it, it looks like a sea container, but it's actually a living space, accommodations for six personnel. So on each side, there's uh, three three bunks. That's where the junior people stay. Because <laughs> you have to go inside to use the showers and the heads and, and the sink and everything. Um, to your port and your starboard aft, we have our ceremonial guns, which we actually fitted especially for Cleveland today. We did a 21 gun salute on the way in um, uh, when we passed USS Cod, just over yonder. We have several fire hoses and damage control equipment around because obviously when you're 50 miles out from land you can't call the fire department so everyone on board is trained in, in firefighting and damage control, floods, things of that nature. Anyone have any questions? What's the procedure for speaking? Sorry sir? What's the procedure for speaking fires? Um, we've done exercises for them but we've actually Never really done done any real ones lately. Thank God. Um, the exercise we've done, we were off the coast of North Carolina, working with the coast, uh, U.S. Coast Guard. We had um, a U.S. clearance diver team on board, and they would launch a boat to a point of contact where the mine would be. And we actually had dummy mines, so we would go there, and they would dive on the site, defuse the mine, and then we would use our crane, which we don't have, but you can see on the other ship, the crane there hook it up after it was diffused and bring it on board and recover it. Okay, so you actually go out, diffuse the line, and then pick it up. That, that's what the divers would do, yes. Ooh. 
So like if you could run into a minefield of like a hundred mines, you know. Yeah, we it might be a bit of work. Yeah. <laughs> they can also be detonated obviously at, remotely at a safe distance. Right now we have about 40 people on board. We have some people leaving when we're here in Cleveland because they they have to go back to school for the school year. Um, maximum, I believe it's 45. Minutes. And that's with this uh, pod full and everything. Cleveland ponies. ponies and the water ponies. Which one is the boss? on the roller bow stopper. Make sure this isn't engaged. And then all you do is off brake and this will just start spinning and it'll drop the anchor. So when you want to recover it, you just engage the clutch here and uh, heave in. Too easy. Oh, oh, oh. Here. Yeah. Well, that's, it runs on 600 volt power. Oh, okay. That's, I don't think it's on right now. No. You hear stories though that boys are saying, yeah, they brought the anchor up and there was a Volkswagen bug on the anchor. Yeah. Come on. I'd have to see that one to believe it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a good piece of equipment when we're in a sea state. And if it's really rough out, yeah. drop the anchor. Keep you from... Keeps you from bouncing around, yeah. that's for sure. Yep. Up here we got our 40 millimeter cannon. So that's uh, we got that's operated by like a three man crew. We'll have the person, the loader, the uh, aimer, and uh, there's the people up in the bridge doing their thing. We got the ready use locker right there. So that's uh, that'll be full of ammo. That locker there. Yeah. It's not right now, but. Uh, in a situation where you had to, we were using the weapon, it would be. And above that, we've got 250 cals. The people were the friendliest over in Chicago. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Are y'all just left from there? Chicago. Y'all came to Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. We passed. Uh, we passed Detroit uh, just a couple days ago, actually. Okay. We were in. Uh, here on, or wait, Lake, where were we? Uh, Lake Michigan? We were in Lake Michigan. We, we were, we've been to all five lakes. Wow. Yeah. That's in like the last three weeks. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we've been busy. Over here, and everybody gets to learn a little bit about the other nation's navy. Yes. So that's a lot of fun. I got to do it on a Danish ship a couple years ago. Oh, that'd have been fun. It's yeah. fantastic. It is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do yeah. training like yeah. Guantanamo or there? Do you go down anywhere else training with other national ships? Um, we just uh, in June we were sailing with a couple of German ships and uh, exercising with them. That was great. We frequently sail with American ships. I've done a couple exercises where we work very closely with American ships. Uh, this spring we did one off the coast of, uh, uh, where's Moorhead City? Florida. What state? I mean, no. not Florida, Carolinas. Yeah. Moorhead City, so North, North Carolina. Carolina. North yeah, Carolina. I think yeah. so. And then a couple, like maybe five or six years ago, we did one in the Gulf of Mexico with some American ships. And, and that's just me. Like, we do, we, yeah. the different ships do stuff all the time. You get a lot of opportunity to see a lot of different places and meet a lot of different people. I got to see that great place. Then they flew me from there to Adak, Alaska. 
<laughs> which is an I'd island. Like to see that, but no. It's an island out in the middle of the Aleutian chain. Now, when, when I say I could see Russia, I could really see Russia. On a nice clear day, you could see Russia. It's only 150 miles, if not that. It ain't well, that far. We've got two of this class of ship right now that are actually up crossing the, Atlant uh, the Arctic Circle. Ooh. And uh, so they're, I'm not sure if they're there yet, but they were on their way. Yeah. And doing what we call Opnanuk. And that is basically patrolling our Arctic. Yeah. Yeah, we, we we you know we had this ship that came in. We, I got a picture. It's called the Ghost Ship. It was white, had all these huge antennas on it, and it would pull in. You never saw a soul on it when it pulled in, and you never saw a soul when it left. It would be there, and it would be there a couple That's days. Why we call it a <laughs> That's why we called the Ghost Ship, and it would leave. And what it was collecting intel. Yeah. Ooh. Spy ship. <laughs> you still you see you still hear about ships like that. Oh yeah. Uh, we we get some intel every once in a while yeah. to keep our eye out for such and such, yeah. and. Uh, we do, we, and uh, we try and catch as much intel on them as they're trying to get on us. We can get these down to show up. Yeah, no, all these we can. So I, mean, so I can call them the commanding officer, not my boss, but the commanding officer of the whole island. And he says, you know, hey, Mr. King, you're going to take these guys, and you're going to go over here, you're going to go to the Army, you're going to these weapons. I'm going, excuse me, sir, the fighter's going over. He says, the guy says, what are you going to do? I said, we're going to take foxhole. We're going to pull the deer behind it. I said, because you see those big guns, you see those planes flying overhead? They're going to come in and hit us before we got them. The biggest thing I had was a lost, lost rocket in a, in a third. I said, they're going to bomb the hell out of us. We ain't got a chance. I said, hopefully for a while, we're going to shoot back. But I said, no. Nah. And and they, they, it was during the Cold War, so they had a pissing match with the U.S. So, does anybody have any questions about the bridge? No. You can't see it. Up to date. Yeah, so, so I'm not that sure. I feel like we've only had this particular system for about less than a year. Was to okay. watch the um, come or around that kind of time frame. But uh, we, we monitor it from two different places on ship. We monitor it up here on the bridge, and then we monitor it in the so office room. New it's really cool. And then take the old out. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's, a lot of times it's just even a new program, new software, that kind of thing. I loved it. I so, didn't have training. I mean, there are Sometimes you learn as you go. Yes. <laughs> you go to see this like instruction manual. Okay. This year, for example, we did about a month and a half uh, in February time frame, and then we did another three or four weeks in April ish. And then we left this time, we left June 2nd from Halifax. We've been pretty much gone since then. We'll get back in the middle of September. It makes for a long haul. We've yeah, got another cool. sale yet this fall, <laughs> and uh, okay. then we'll be done for the year until <laughs> next year, and then we start all over start again. Start all over again. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Plan to make it a full. What do they have for Canada? Twenty years or more? Or? Uh, right oh. now, if you are right oh, for us, your full-time contract that you sign for your full, um, your full time is twenty-five years. Twenty-five years. Yeah. I'm a reservist, so right now my contract goes till January. At January, then we'll look at extending further. Usually, it doesn't go anymore, like max three years. Okay. Okay.
Yeah. Well, where you where you you're locally from? Uh, where well, I'm originally from uh, Virginia, and our uh, our ship is uh, homeported from Virginia. So, oh, wow. so it's uh. Yeah, we had to wait till a guy.